Greetings travelers! On this video, we want to represent to you our top choice of place to go to while in Winnipeg, Canada. Are you new to this channel? We would like to greet you welcome. And if you are a regular subscriber, we would like to greet you welcome back. Please make sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment in the comment section and give us a big thumbs up. And make sure to check our other video reference on the link above. Now without further ado, our number 5 top choice of place to go to in Winnipeg, Canada will be the Pavilion at Asini Bowen Park. The Pavilion Gallery Museum is a museum and art gallery in Winnipeg, Manitoba. It opened in 1998 in the Asi Bowen Park Pavilion in Asi Bowen Park. The pavilion is the second pavilion building built in the park. The gallery houses the largest collections of work by three renowned Manitoba artists, Ivan Eyre, Clarence Tillinius, and Walter J. Phillips. The second floor area is dedicated to the work of emerging Manitoba artists. Our number four top choice or place to go to in Winnipeg, Canada will be the San Norbert Provincial Heritage Park. It's a park in the San Norbert area. The park is 70,000 square meters. Designated a provincial park by the government of Manitoba in 1976, it is considered to be a Class D protected area under the UIC and protected area management categories. Our number three top choice or place to go to in Winnipeg, Canada will be the Air Force Heritage Museum and Air Park. The Air Force Heritage Museum and Air Park in Winnipeg, Manitoba displays aircraft and artifacts pertaining to the history of the Canadian Air Force. The park contains memorials to Canadian Air Search and Rescue and to the people who train under the British Commonwealth Air Training Plan. The museum was established in 1975. Memorials in the park were dedicated in 1999. The Air Park is the largest permanent display of Canadian military aircraft in Canada. The attached museum has artifacts such as aviation art, Victoria Crosses, including the posthumous war to end the Mirnarski and one of the remaining battles of written based tapestry. Our number two top choice or place to go to in Winnipeg, Canada will be St. Norbert Farmer's Market. A great open market for locally produced meat, veggies, and craft made by local artists. Our number one top choice or place to go to in Winnipeg, Canada will be the Prairie Dog Central Railway. The Prairie Dog Central Railway is a heritage railway just outside Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. Regular trips are every Saturday, Sunday, and holiday, Monday from May through September, and last almost four hours with one stop in the rural community of Grassy Isle. Special dinner excursion occur during the season. Initiated in 1970 by the Vintage Locomotive Society, the first operation were in July 1970. From 1970 to 1974, the train operated out of Charleswood on the now abandoned Canadian National Travel Subdivision. From 1975 to 1996, the train operated out of St. James, immediately west of Polo Park on a now abandoned Canadian National Railway Line. In 1999, the station, now a Federal Heritage Site, was moved to its present location at Inkster Junction in Musa. The remainder of the original line has now been abandoned. I hope you have enjoyed watching this video as much as we have enjoyed making it. Please check out as well our other video and our Instagram, scenic.geek. Until next time, goodbye.